uh, as you say, I had been treating cancer for a couple of decades, but even I didn't realize how painful a disease it can be until I shared a bed with a cancer patient. When cancer entered my own family and Harvey, my husband got it, it was uh, somehow uh, a disorienting experience at the same time a clarifying experience at many levels. And that was one of the, uh, one of the moments that uh, clarified things for me and reassured me that I had always been right all along was when Harvey was given his diagnosis of cancer, uh, he was my mentor also, and he had always taught me not to get my emotions involved with patients. But when he gets his own diagnosis of cancer, he turns to me and says, as you're going to take care of me. And I said, what? I mean, you have taught me never to take care of someone when emotions are involved. He said, no, no, I only trust your judgment. That's it. So I realized that it was the right thing that I had, um, you know, always gotten my emotions involved with my patients. And maybe that is, um, has made me a better doctor than I would be if I didn't get involved with them. I, I didn't intend to tell Harvey's story at all. But then when I started writing about these other patients, I realized that I am recounting with such granularity the details of their lives and their suffering and holding back my own story. That seemed insincere or somehow dishonest to me. So I decided, okay, then I'll write about Harvey as well. Once that decision was made, every chapter, he runs like a red line through everything throughout the book now, because everywhere my personal experience with him kept coming up. Now, besides that, I wanted to highlight the tragedies of cancer by, uh, by focusing on some stories that show or that lift the blinders from the eyes of cancer researchers and oncologists by showing how spectacularly we are failing. So if I show the terrible failure in somebody who's 85, it's not going to have the same effect as someone who's 22 who's diagnosed. Andrew is diagnosed at 22. And how dare we tell his mother that he can live three months longer if he takes this medication? What is three months to a 22 year old? Two years can mean something to a 85 year old, but two years don't mean anything to Umar who's 38 who's ready to get married. And those two years to be spent in constantly getting uh, pieces of his body sliced off and taking poisons and uh, being burnt by radiation. So I had to make certain choices. Uh, yes, but on the other hand was also the personal component in these because these are uh, people who were close to me. So it's not just treating a patient. For example, JC was one of the first people I really got close to when I was in my early 30s. And she was in her early 30s and we became best friends. And so, you know, it had, it made me um, change my whole trajectory of my career changed because of that experience with JC. With Umar, he's my best friend's son. With Andrew, he's my daughter's best friend. With Harvey, he's my husband. Uh, with Per Bach and uh, Lady N and Kitty C, these are complete strangers to me, but um, emotionally very, uh, they each uh, affected me in ways that I had to write about. Because uh, uh, here's Lady N, for example, who is absolutely refusing to accept that anything is wrong with her, that. Uh, her mortality is staring her in the face and she keeps scoffing it away. Or Kitty C, who has a beautiful, um, grave acceptance with great wisdom. So all these different uh, experiences highlighted by 
uh, personalities of patients, what they experience, what their families experience. And then remember, a major part of the book is going back to the families and asking them years later, now that you have all this time to think about it, cast a backward glance and tell me what you wish you had done differently. And so the families write about it. So part of it was also because of the families who were involved. Mm -hmm. um, I can write about another 100 patients, literally with the same level of detail, at least another 100, because you can imagine an old hack that I am, I've seen thousands of patients and followed many of them for decades. There are so many stories to tell, and I hope I'll continue to tell them, but these appear to each make a very specific point. I hope you others read the book and realize what those points are. Yeah, 